Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through component level design guys. So previously we discussed about design. You designed the design phase, right? So architecture, your architecture design, you made it. So from architecture design, you'll be converting it into component design, component level design guys. Remember one thing for every iteration of architectural design, you'll be pushing that architectural design into component level design and it will also start its processes in that way it will be working. Okay, so let us go through the theoretical points. So component level design occurs after the first iteration of the architectural design. Okay, so a component level design can represent using the intermediate representation that is nothing but graphical, tabular or text based. So it can be anything guys. So that can be translated into source code easily. So basically this is the last stage guys. I told you designing is the last stage, right? So in designing we divided again it into three types. One is architectural and one is component and the initially we discussed about uh, the basic design, right? The analysis design, right? So these are the three analysis, normal design and component, okay? So we discussed about these three things, okay? So, okay, analysis, architecture and component, okay? So these are the three designs which we followed till now, okay? So now this is the last stage guys. Once this is done, you will automatically, you will be going through coding guys, okay? So the design of data structure, interface and algorithms should be Confirm to well established guidelines to help the avoiding the introduce introduction of errors. So basically if the component level design is done 100% perfectly, the basic errors like structural errors, like some kind of any kind of bugs, all will be resolved guys. Basically, they will not even exist if you follow the proper methods in component level design. Okay, so you might be having a question that what is this component first? A component is a module or a building block of a computer software. So it is nothing but a small module of a component, sorry. A mod, a component is nothing but a, a small module of a huge project or a huge program, okay. So a component is a module, is a modular deployable and replaceable part of a system that encapsulates implementation and exposes a set of interfaces. So it is an interface between two or more components and it is a component, it, it is connected to multiple components also. And it does a particular functionality guys. That's the main thing that you should remember. Okay. So based on different point of views, the meaning of the component changes. So few might be saying that it is object oriented view. Few will be saying that it's conventional view. Few it is saying that it's process related. So, so someone will be saying that it will be showing the relation between, pro, between objects. And it will, someone will be saying that the conventional view, like overall view. And someone will be saying that it, it will be saying about some particular process. Okay, so in that way, it depends on the views also guys, the definition. Okay, so I hope everyone got some basic idea about component level design. In the next lecture, we will be going through the design, designing a class based component guys. So this is again divided into three steps, I think so. Three or four steps, just give me a second. Four steps, four basic steps. So all we'll be discussing about these four steps in our upcoming lectures. So in the next lecture, we'll be going through some basic principle designs guys. Okay, so let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.